Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So my name is Ella Ringers, if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me, it is a pleasure. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about self-sabotage and self-hatred. So self-sabotage, in my opinion, is being cruel to ourselves, being hatred towards, towards ourselves, not giving ourselves the love that we deserve, not just the love that we desire, but the love that we deserve, because we all deserve love. And so self-sabotaging is something that every single person on this planet is suffering with, um, you know, critiquing ourselves, trying to tweak out every per like flaw of ourselves and trying to perfect ourselves constantly. And it's this never ending cycle of when you find that one flaw that you then fix, you're onto the next thing. And it's this constant um, race that never ends of self-sabotage. There's always going to be something that you can critique or tweak or fix or, um, you know, be cruel about. And it's just this perpetual thing that keeps on going. And it's something that my whole life, I always believed there was an end line. Since um, a very young age, when I would criticize myself, I thought there was going to be an end line. There was going to be a time when I would feel content with who I am. But understanding now that it takes a conscious effort to stop the self-sabotage. It's not something that your mind, your ego will constantly find things to critique. So understanding that the, the, the critiquing isn't the problem, it's the identification of the mind that is causing this to be a perpetual cycle in your life. And so everyone in the world does this 24 seven. We wake up and we look in the mirror and maybe we say, oh, I look awful. Or we look at our body and we go, why have we gained all this weight? Or, oh, I'm so unhealthy, I'm so unfit. Maybe we look at our bank account and we go, how am I earning this much money? I'm a failure. I've done all of these things. Why am I where I want to be? Or why don't I have the motivation? Why am I a procrastinator? That's a big one I used to call myself. I used to say, you are the biggest procrastinator, Ella, and I would self-sabotage myself. It could be, oh my gosh, why am I in this toxic relationship? Why can't I have a better partner? Why can't I have a partner? Whatever it may be. We all have that critique little voice that's constantly picking and tweaking and thinking that the answer lies out here. We think that the answers lie with fixing these things and then we'll feel content. And that is the biggest thing that the ego likes to trick us to think is that there's always gonna be an end line. There's always going to be a moment where it'll be fine. And that's how the ego tricks you into keeping itself alive. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I've done this more times than I can count, which is the saying, I'll be happy when. That was something I used my entire life. I remember when I dropped out of school at 17 years old, I was deeply insecure and I held that like the opposite of a badge of honor. I wore it like it was my name, my reputation. It was a thing that I said, well, I'm useless. I have no worth because I dropped out of school. It was like this thing I was holding myself against. And I said, I'll be happy when I have a good career because I was so embarrassed. I felt so ashamed of myself. And so when I then got a good career, I noticed myself saying, oh, I'll be happy when I have this. And it was this constant thing of going, okay, I don't feel good right now. So I'm gonna project my happiness into the future and critique myself until I get there. But understanding when you get there, you're stuck with the same mind, the same mind that is critiquing everything you're doing right now. And so when you get to that next destination, the mind is gonna continue to do that. So what we need to do to counteract this self-sabotaging is to fill your cup up with love, okay? So the two emotions these are really coming from, the critiquing, the self-sabotaging, the self-hatred, is coming from fear. And the opposite of fear is love, okay? And so this was a big realization I had last week, and this really comes into feminine energy and, um, you know, for men and for females and males, it's not just a female thing, it's just an energy, we both have the dynamic, the polarity within us both. And feminine energy is really nurturing your body, being sacred to your body, being loving to your body. And so the reason I felt compelled to make this video was because yesterday it was Sunday and in societal, you know, I don't like to really use days as like, okay, today I work in this day. I kind of just let myself flow. Like today it's Monday. And after this, I'm just gonna walk for the rest of the day. Like just go out and relax and do shadow work and rest and heal and do all of these things. I don't like to say, okay, cause it's Monday, I have to work or cause it's Friday, I have to work. Oh, cause it's Saturday, I have to take the day off. But for some reason, Sunday is just one of those days that's so drilled into me that you don't do anything. You just rest, you have a lazy day. And so I turned on my phone and I have been really separated from my phone lately. Like I, I really don't 
go on it at all. If I'm going to go on Instagram, it's on my laptop. Or if I have to post something for work, it's on my phone. But then I turn my phone off again. But yesterday, I found myself on my phone all day. I was in bed just resting because it was Sunday. And I noticed the minute I put my phone down, this voice just getting louder and louder and louder and louder within me. And I just felt this deep shame, this deep pain, this deep sadness, all of these emotions, which are not bad emotions. I want to make that very clear. It's not something that we have to suppress and run away from. But it was this thing of I felt worthless by the end of the day. By the the morning I'd done my morning routine, I felt great. And then by the end of the day, I just felt worthless. I felt just ashamed. I felt I should be doing more and just getting in my head. And what I realized was that is not what Ella or whoever, whatever your name is watching this, Brian, Sinead, Shanice, whatever it may be, you do not deserve that feeling. I mean, you don't, not that feeling. You don't deserve these thoughts, these labels. You don't deserve this critique, this little thing breathing down your neck, telling you what you should and shouldn't be doing. You don't need that, okay? What you need to do is to give yourself love. So if you skip a workout, okay? Let's say you haven't been going to the gym since the lockdown, okay? And you're going, I'm such a failure. I'm a, I'm a lazy person. I can't, I can't do anything, okay? And you go into this negative spiral of just being so cruel to yourself. And what that's doing is it's creating so much pain in the body, okay? And the thing about the moment, this present moment, is there is never anything outside of us that is causing these emotional reactions. It's how we react to them and how we create them. And how the, how we create these is because the mind likes to keep being alert in this state of alertness because it's always being alert for fear, for danger. And so what you need to do is you need to be kind to yourself. So let's say about the, the gym analogy, you haven't been going to the gym. Be kind to yourself, give yourself love. Say, I appreciate you, I appreciate you body. I appreciate my physical portal, my physical vessel. I appreciate you for giving me life, for allowing me to breathe, for allowing me to walk, for allowing me to be here today. Giving yourself that love that you truly desire and through giving yourself that love, that is when you enter the most optimal timeline as a loving person would be. Okay, so when we enter this hatred, um, shameful narrative, We're entering into a timeline of someone who doesn't respect their body, who's someone who doesn't love their body, someone who doesn't like themselves, who critiques themselves. Is it critics? Critiques yourself, whatever. I can't remember what the word is, but um, someone that's cruel to themselves. They're not nice to themselves. And then you do, your identity is the person of someone who's doing bad actions, who's eating bad food, not working out, being cruel to themselves, their health, their body, doing all of these things. And so in order to counteract the self-sabotage we need to be loving to ourselves so shower yourself with compliments and I really mean that and I, I say I literally say that literally say tell yourself compliments all day every day give yourself so much love say I love you I honor you my body I honor you Ella I honor everything you've done for me I'm so grateful for the past you've all you've created all of these things just shower yourself with love and through showering yourself with love you're entering into a timeline of a loving person how a self-loving person would think act and feel and do be do have okay And it's not all about the happy emotions. It's not all about being happy. You guys know I talk a lot about shadow work. But what I don't believe in is creating pain in the present moment for the present moment. Shadow work is something that I believe all the past trauma, all the past pain. I believe that needs healing. But when we self-sabotage in the present moment, we're literally just sabotaging this exact moment and the future. So how we have to heal and be kind to ourselves and counteract this self-sabotaging and this cruelness is to be kind to yourself. Self-hate is not the answer. It will never, ever be the answer. And it's something we all do in today's society. I think Instagram and TikTok are the biggest things for me that trigger that self-sabotaging, that self-hatred, just feeling I'm not enough. I'm not doing enough. I'm not being enough. I just am not worthy as I am. And this is a big belief I've had my whole life, just not believing I'm worthy just for being Ella, okay? I always feel I need to do something outside of me to get that validation. But what if we were to give ourselves that validation? What if we were to give ourselves that love? Not seeking it out here because this is the biggest thing is people always think the answer lies out here, but it doesn't. The mind is tricking you into thinking it lies out here so it can keep chasing these things so your mind can stay safe. But we don't need the mind as much as we think. And it's this illness, this disease that the whole world is going through where we're constantly thinking, we're constantly judging ourselves, hating ourselves, being cruel to ourselves. And this just creates illness, disease, 
depression, anxiety, all of these things down the line. And the only way we can heal all of these things is through love. It's through loving yourself, being kind to yourself, honoring yourself. Instead of looking at Jade down the road or Melanie or Sarah or Brian or whoever down the road and comparing ourselves to them online going, gosh, I wish I had what they had. Why am I like them? They're so amazing. You have to understand that these people are doing the same thing with other people. Okay, this is another thing. I remember when I was craving um, having an online platform. Okay, so when I was, you know, quite a low subscribers, I was comparing myself to people in the 20s and the 30s, okay? And I went, oh, when I have 20,000 subscribers, I'll be so happy. So then I got there and I was then comparing myself to the higher people and higher and higher. And it was this never ending thing of, I, I realized I'm never gonna be content with myself if I continue to base my worth on other people and the thing is, is, the more you get, the more you're just comparing to the next person, the next person. And that's the thing. You think that you'll be content when you get these things and when you be happy with these things. So that's why I'm telling you this now, because wherever you are in your journey, in regards to your health, wealth, relationships, wherever you are in your journey, it's giving yourself that self-validation, that self-love. It's not comparing yourself to others and bringing yourself towards them because that's so damaging to your self-esteem to be bringing this person that you don't know you th you may think you know but we only know ourselves to our truest core and comparing ourselves to them it's so damaging because we're our own beings yes we are all one but we are our own beings we are our own selves we have gone through our own beautiful specific journeys and why we why should we you know compare ourselves to these other people who have gone through completely different lives you know, when we realize that we can't step in their shoes, we only have our experience. So we may as well make our experience the best one for our ourselves. Not feeling the need to play up to societal norms or make these people happy, but what makes you happy? What sets your soul on fire? Okay, and dig deep within yourself. It's not out here, it's within. Dig deep within your soul, within your higher self, the alignment, the divine, whatever you may believe in. Dig deep into that and find that inner love, that inner cherishment cherishing your body and through that you're going to counteract self-sabotaging you don't have to you know i mean you can i'd meditate i journal i do all of these beautiful things but understand that you know let's say when you feel bad about yourself let's say you're self-sabotaging and you listen to podcasts you listen to all of these different things you're trying to make yourself feel better but that voice just keeps creeping back and the only way we're going to be able to heal that is through the emotion the vibration the feeling of love and so that's why you need to give yourself so much unconditional love that you're literally overflowing. And when you're overflowing, you can give to others and you can be the best version of yourself. So that is my two cents for self-sabotaging. And I really hope this video helped you out in some sort of way and made you feel better about yourself, made you feel more whole and understand and be kind to yourself. Okay, that's all your body is asking from you is to be kind to yourself. It doesn't want any more self-hatred. It doesn't want any more cruelty. I don't care what your situation is if you are like well ella i'm the biggest failure to ever walk this planet ella you can't say i should be proud of myself when i've done x y and z it doesn't matter all that exists is this present moment everything in the past is done okay i used to self-sabotage myself in my past because i did things that i wasn't proud of i used to criticize myself and go gosh you are that you are this cruel person because you did this in the past or you were this person because you did this in the past but understand that is finished. That was an older version of you. And all you can choose now is this present moment and who you're going to be and how you're going to be and how you're going to feel and how you're going to treat yourself. So don't enslave yourself to the past. Don't, you know, stop living because you're trying to hold up to this identity of who you used to be and you feel guilt for that. Set yourself free. Set yourself free. Okay. And through that, you're going to feel so much more love for this world. You're going to feel so much more peace and you're going to thank yourself. So I'm sending you so much love wherever you are. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate you guys giving it a subscribe. I upload a lot, a lot of times a week. Is that even English? I upload quite a lot a week, every week. And um, yeah, I just love what I do. And I appreciate you guys being here and listening. And I love serving and helping you. And another thing I realized is for me to give these messages out, I need to practice what I preach and walk my walk, walk my talk, okay? So my number one priority in life is giving myself that love. It's putting myself first and everything else comes second. Because if I put everyone else first, I'm not giving my best self forward because I'm not giving myself that love that it needs. So understand that when you're trying to put your business, your relationship, your health first, 
you actually have to understand that you have to come first because when you put yourself first, then you're able to show up as the best possible version for all of these resources. Understand that and take that in. So I want to thank you. Sending you so much love. You can click subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. I reply to every single comment or as much as I can. Um, it's a big conscious effort I really make because I appreciate you all so much. As you guys know, I do have the Goal Getter Mindset Academy down below, which is a seven week training transformational program that helps you manifest your dream life. If you are unhappy in your current situation, this will catapult your current situation to your desired situation so that you can be more happy, abundant, healthy, loving person. Um, so I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.